My name is Warrior. I'm the creator and performer of The Ultimate Warrior. And for years, people, young people, have been writing me about how to live inspiring lives, about how to be the fucking ultimate at what they do. It's 5.30 in the morning here on October 28th. I'm in a parking lot of a Motel 6. And somebody told me that there are some stars here. In fact, a band called I See Stars. And they have what it takes. They have a warrior inside of them to want to be super fucking stars. Starting right now. The Warrior Show. I am I. I'm going to fucking find out. The Ultimate Warrior! What is he doing? My name is Warrior. I'm the one and only original creator and performer of The Ultimate Warrior. The truth about me is actually much more than what you think you might already know. The truth is Ultimate Warrior was simply an external amplification of me and who I was. Today, Ultimate Warrior is a pop culture icon. The things of greatest value that came out of my success in the business were not the fame, the celebrity, the money. What was priceless were the incredible life lessons, mentoring and inspiring the young creative people of today's generation to do the work it takes to make a masterpiece of their own life is what interests me today using my unique, one-of-a-kind intensity and passion for life to have them grasp that real power comes from owning your life. Let's go, brother! Mind, body, and soul. So it is that I present to you, I am I, The Warrior Show. I need the room numbers of IC stars. I need the room number of IC stars. Nobody fucking talks in here. What room is IC stars in? You take a guess? What are you looking for? IC stars. IC stars. Yeah, the band. Where are they at? What room are they in? Oh, man. Uh, 247, 248. 247, 248. You sure about that? Yeah, I think so. Wake up, sleeping fucking beauties! Boys, look at this fucking guy. Out fucking cold, man. I'm gonna have to drag him through his workout. Good morning, guys. It's fucking ultimate reality. The shit just hit the fan. Hey, guys. Wake up, it's time to get up, smell the roses. Drink the coffee, eat some eggs and bacon. I was having this, this amazing sleep, and I was dreaming about something awesome, and then I wake up, and I see the ultimate warrior all up in my grill telling me that I have to get up and work out at like six in the morning. Oh my God, it's gonna be this hard? Let's go get some exercise. You guys gonna get up, what, you got names? Devin. Devin, nice to meet you. Look, here's the deal. We're gonna start taping a television show today and you guys are gonna participate in it. And if you go with me for about an hour and a half, you may learn something that will change your life. If you don't, you don't get your money back because you don't have to pay. Let's get up, you got five minutes. We're downstairs in the van. Hey guys, all right, man, super. Let's get on there. We're gonna go for a little while. Appreciate it, all right. Thanks for the attitude. Been five minutes, man, and you gotta watch. Five minutes? You, yeah. five minutes? Yeah. Okay, I think we're ready. That's it, man, five minutes, not 50 fucking minutes. Here comes somebody, is that one of the band guys? Thanks, brother. Good job, all right. All right, that's it, that's all we got. 
All right, we're ready to go, man. It's a motherfucker having some big asshole come in your hotel room this time of morning. Look at it. This guy's even giggly. <laughs> and I remember the Motel 6s. Listen to some guy burp and fart all night, man, or something like that, and not getting any sleep, or moan and groan about something else. That's what we used to have to do when I first got into business. I used to drive like 300 miles a night for 50 bucks. 300 miles one way and back the same, same night after the show, just for like 50 bucks a night. To sleep in Motel 6s and sleep in my car a lot and stuff like that, and that's part of what you have to do, man. It may be hard for you guys to see it, but you're making an impression on a lot of different people, even at the young stage that you're at right now. And it's important to pay serious attention to that. Tell me where you're from. I'm from, actually, it's not Detroit at all, and it's not too gangster. It's just a little suburb called Warren. Oh, you're from Michigan. Yeah. All you guys are, oh, that's right. You, part of your story is you guys dropped out of high school. I have my diploma. You want my advice? He's gonna fuck it up for everybody with that diploma. <laughs> he's gonna think he's got all the fucking ideas, all the formulas. Okay, truth test. What's the last thing you guys ate? Because, you know, something tells me we might just find out anyway. Uh, <laughs> potato soup, cheese quesadilla. Oh, man. Picasso can make a painting out of that mixture. Hey, did you guys get those Home Depot buckets? No. Fuck, then I hope you guys know how to use a mop. I think we're here, man. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna get started. All right, we're at this great gym. It's called Rise Above Fitness. It's owned by Brandon. He's hardcore. Yeah. Brandon. Hey. How's it going? Good to see you guys. Welcome. My name is Brandon Schipetti. I'm the owner and head trainer at Rise Above Fitness. I spent a good part of the last 12 years on the road with my band Bleeding Through. I want to see your face. One of the things that I always did on the road was keep myself in shape. There's always been that parallel of music and fitness for me, and I think it's so vital for all these younger bands to get in here and embrace a lifestyle of fitness so they can prolong their careers, stay focused, stay disciplined, because if they stay disciplined in fitness, they're gonna stay disciplined in music and vice versa. Here you go. It's the war zone! Game begins now! All right, back here, let's go. We don't want to waste any time. Look, there are things that I want you to get out of what we're going to do today, and you may not get them like I want you to get them because you're young. It's like when I talk to my 10-year-old daughter, I make my daughters look at me when I talk to them. They can't change the direction of their eyes. They got to look directly at me so I can see inside their soul. But I can see sometimes inside her head, she wants to start rolling her eyes when I'm talking to her in a philosophical way. You need to be here. And in your head, you're not here right now. You're thinking about a million fucking different things. You're thinking about how my face looks right now compared to the picture of the ultimate warrior you saw. You're thinking about you'd rather be in bed than standing out here shivering. You're thinking about what's getting ready to happen in the way that I'm gonna exercise your bodies. You have got to be able to dump that stuff. I want you guys to walk down to that truck. I want you to dump every fucking other idea out of your head except being here and what's going to happen in this gym. I want you to forget about the girlfriends you have. I want you to forget about your family. I want you to forget about last night's performance. I want you to forget about today's performance. I want you to forget about that you fucking don't want to be here. I want you to run hard. And on the way back, I want you to run as hard as you can. And I want the fucking camera crew in front of them. If they fall down or something, run fucking over them. Camera crew, keep fucking up. Okay, camera crew's out of shape. Okay, here's the deal. I'm a fan of different kinds of music. And I gotta be honest, <clears throat> I listen to a variety of different stuff and a lot of times I just like silence. And you guys can probably identify with that because you're creative people, but I like my own thoughts. I like my own ideas. Choices fucking matter. Nothing matters more than the fucking choices you make in your life. When you go in there, I want you to choose something to work out and exercise in. Not as a team, but by yourself. Pick up some weights, get on what machines you want, and let me see what your choices are. Just grab what you want, man. It's not about proving strength or setting any records. Your form doesn't have to be perfect. It's not gonna be judged. 
I want to see what kind of choices you make, not just the one choice that you make. There you go. The exercise should be fun. That's enough. Body, mind, and soul. Body, mind, and soul. If you want to be the ultimate at what you do, you can't take any one of those three things out. You've got to use your body. This is the vehicle that takes you through life. People buy a car and they spend more money taking care of their fucking car then they spend time or money taking care of their body. I can see it in your eyes. I can see you rolling your eyes thinking, fuck man, I'm young, I can do anything. I can do back fucking flips if I want, man. That groupie three nights ago, I had her in the room, I was fucking doing her and I was doing her fucking hard and she was screaming and fucking yelling and I was fucking King Kong. The day will come when it won't be the same unless you made the choices. And one of the choices to exercise, it's about anything. It's about yoga, it's about stretching, it's about kettlebell stuff. It's about using light dumbbells, it's about flexibility, it's about those type of things. For 45 minutes to an hour a day running, it will make your life better. What do they say about runners? What do they get when they get through running? I don't know, my, my dad's a runner and he says that he just feels like his complete body is just flushed out of all toxins. There you go, it's called the runner's high. You guys are young, a lot of temptations, you're doing different things. No judgment of any of that. You wanna get really stoked, you wanna get really jacked up, you wanna get really, really high, get fucking hardcore intense exercise. Whose cell phone is that? We do a little ceremony. All right, pick up that piece of paper. Just read through it real quick. Basically, it says if I fucking kill you, then I'm not liable for it. Okay, guys, give me your paper. All right. Now, you guys put your shirts on. My attention is on you guys. Since I got home last night and I put my head on the pillow, my thoughts have been on you. About that I want you to be fucking powerful in your life. You know why? Because it makes the world a better place for my fucking kids. When somebody takes responsibility for their fucking destiny in life and they do everything they have within them, everything that God gave them, not God through some stupid ass fucking Bible. God in the way that you feel it. God in the way that you want to inspire people. When you go out in front of those fucking crowds of people and you young guys go out on night right now making your way, that's something to fucking pound your chest about. And when you go out there again tonight and the next night and the next night, I want you to fucking remember that. That logo on that shirt means something to millions of fucking people all around the world. That when I was at my career, I never knew it would. And it doesn't make everybody want to get up every day and be a fucking superstar. It makes people want to get up and just get through their fucking lives and think positively about their contributions. Now, none of you are into exercise, but you know enough about the basics. What do you figure the hardest exercise is to do? Sit-ups. I was gonna say cardio. Exercise, a weight exercise with the bar. Okay, let's make it more specific. What do you think? Pull-ups. 
Look at me. A weight exercise with a bar. Using a bar. And it's got weights on it. What do you think? Bench pressing. You, Jimmy? Um. Bench press, sit up, pull up, or squat. Which one would be harder? Squat. squat. <laughs> and you're right. I've been working out for 42 years. If you can only do one fucking exercise, you do the squat. If all you did was squat, you would better yourself in the body, mind, soul. For 20 years, I've been saying always believe. Every letter, every correspondence I send, everything, always believe. You know, when I did that years ago, people used to laugh. They said, well, you think you're fucking Nike? Always do the hard things in your life. Never take the easy way out. Do them with a smile on your face. You've been smiling ever since I busted in on your room this morning. You need to keep that attitude. Always do the hard fucking things. Simple example, take the fucking stairs, don't take the escalator. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the hard fucking thing, man. We're gonna do the hard thing, man, because that's where you get big balls in life. Starting right over there. You ready, Brandon? We're just gonna pick an exercise. After 30 seconds up, you switch exercises, okay? You're gonna go five rounds, okay? So the first exercise we're gonna do is squats, okay? Get going. Out like that. 30 seconds non-stop, down, up, okay? Non-stop, cable rub. Up, flip over, okay? Nice and violent, okay? Thrust your hips forward like that, and your legs do the work, okay? And basically, I'm gonna time you guys and tell you to switch after 30 seconds, okay? And go! Good job. Keep moving the whole 30 seconds. Switch! Go. There you go, up, all the way up, Devin. Get out there on the power, Jimmy. Let's go. Good. Come on, Jimmy. Okay, somebody, you guys are still staying away from the fucking squat. We're gonna do squats, but we're gonna do squats this way. You put the bar on the back, and you squat fucking down, feet flat, like you're shitting over a hole, like this. You keep your back straight up and down, 20 fucking reps with the bar. And then I need somebody here just doing military press. Push up and down, you got two sets of dumbbells here. You just keep going. Devin, get on the prowler. 20 reps on the prowler. If you're standing around, fucking get on it. Let's go! Fucking dig down deep! I can't do this. No, yeah, coming on, not gonna lie. Uh, the most difficult thing was uh, the prowl. That first, you feel like you can do it and it's not that hard. And then like the first turnaround, you're just kind of like, oh my gosh, my legs are vegetables. It's terrible. You just got off the prowl or you get on the sled? Let's go. Yeah. Fuck that you can't. 52 fucking years I've been on this fucking planet. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! You know what they're gonna tell you when you wanna go to the fucking big stadiums? 100,000 people! I fucking can't! Fuck that! Don't waste my fucking time! Can't! Come on, keep squatting. This is what I fucking got and this is what I know. You don't stay away from doing the exercises when you need to. I admire what you gave, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna run fucking sprints, and we're gonna run them fucking hard, and I don't want no dog in it. All right, get lined up, everybody else. Get the fuck out of my way. Camera guys, run fucking backwards. Get some exercise yourself. We're gonna run sprints to the black thing, and you're coming back to here, and we're gonna go until I say we ain't going no more. Go, hard. Hard! Hard! Pump it, let's go! Again! Let's go! Move your legs! Get rid of that shit in your system! 
You want to be the best? Then act like you're the best. Let's go! Again! Don't stop until you fucking get to the goddamn black thing! Don't fucking stop! Fuck me! Motherfuck! Can't run anymore, crawl! No stopping! No stopping! Go again! You two are the fucking leaders! These are the guys that are going to be cutting your deal! They're going to have the fucking stamina to say, No more! I see stars! Does not take that shit! Four more! Four more! Let's go, guys! Jimmy, pick it up, you guys! Good, good, good! Let's go, run! Don't worry, fucking we got cell phones, we'll call 911! I'll drop a fucking weight on your chest, that'll start things back up! Let's go! Let's go, guys! Down and back! Down and back! You got one more down and back! One more down and back! There's one fucking fan in the stadium who didn't get your soul! Show me you have what it takes to make them hear what you want to bring to the world. Great job, guys. We kicked our ass legitimately. I've never worked out that hard. I could have puked. Fuck the buckets. These guys just fucking showed me that they don't need the fucking buckets. They don't need buckets. Fucking water bottles! I could've gave up. I thought about it. He grinded you so hard, you can't. And he's scary. You don't want to fuck with him. <laughs> you see someone who wrestled in arenas, played in front of 70,000 people, and, and went from sleeping in cars to being on the top. He really inspired, hopefully, the whole band, because right now we're in a point in our career where we're really fighting to make it that next level. You guys on the stage, you fucking become masters of your fucking performance. I mean, motherfuck, man, my whole performance was built on using my body. Every time I meet somebody who doesn't have their physical fitness act together, there's something fucking wrong with them, man. They're missing something. They're not inspiring. People want to be inspired. It was really inspiring, just about your life as a whole and being passionate about what you do and having a plan and a vision and, and understanding that, that every single decision that you make truly affects that. You've got to believe in yourself deeply all the time. That's how you become fucking icons. I see stars did a really good job. There wasn't anybody really crawling or, you know, there's a couple people started puking, but uh, they finished and that shows a lot of heart. Hopefully this inspired them to maintain a lifetime of fitness. Fuck my life. Is everybody here? You guys get over there. A great effort by you, man. I mean, fuck, you got fucking moccasins on. They told me somebody, you got the fucking moccasins. What are you guys, fucking Indians or what? <laughs> But look, man, when you go through life and when you stay at fucking Motel 6, it's not like you see a lot of inspiring fucking people, you know? You know, you're sleeping two to a fucking twin-sized bed. It's hard. I know what it's like. I know how hard it is to think that you fucking can be huge like fucking the bands and the, the mega fucking stars that you look up to. I know. I know what that's like. I know what it's fucking like to sleep in my car in the middle of fucking winter and not have any money to eat anything except tuna fish. And to keep believing in yourself that you can fucking do huge things. And exercise will connect you to that fucking deep belief, man, it will. I appreciate that you spent your time with me today. And I'll be paying attention to what goes on with you guys in your career. Thanks again. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I like too? You guys shake hands fucking the old fashioned way. I don't know the bumping fucking shit. I guess I'll have to learn it though, huh? Good job. Thank you.